The world waits for a miracle. The heart longs for a little bit of hope. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel. Ciao, praise for peace on earth, and she's calling now from a sea of hurt. Oh, come. Oh, come, Emmanuel. Good morning, everybody. Um, it is, I don't even know what day it is. It's Wednesday, December 5th. And uh, we are currently outside playing in the snow. It's pretty chilly out. It says it's only like 28 degrees and feels like 17. But we're braving it anyways because some of it is starting to melt and we don't want to miss a chance to play in it. So we're taking the morning and playing outside a little bit. And um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a very busy day. I have a lot to do today. So um, we're not gonna be outside very long, but I wanted to pop on and say good morning and we'll be back in a little bit. The baby's cry is the sound of love. Come down, come down, Emmanuel. For the suffering, he is Messiah, the Prince of Peace has come, he has come, Emmanuel. Glory to the light. Okay, so we're still outside, but um, it's not as as cold as it could be, I guess. But um, I did want to say that the sky is like a beautiful blue color today and the sun is shining and it just makes the whole world of snow look all glittery and smooth and new and uh, it's so pretty out. I love snow. I don't know why people don't like snow. It's so much fun. It is, I don't know, like 10.30 at night. Um, I, once again, my family's all tucked into bed and I'm the last one awake, which is pretty typical. Today ended up being a really busy day. And um, I was kind of stressed out this afternoon because I was making two huge pots of homemade chicken and noodles and with homemade egg noodles in them for church tonight. And um, so I didn't really get to sit down a lot today. I definitely didn't get any knitting done today, which bums me out because that's how I usually, in the afternoon especially, take some quiet time to just kind of regroup and um, throw some stitches on whatever I'm working on. And it didn't happen today. So um, it was just kind of ooh, a whirlwind. But tomorrow there's really nothing scheduled for on the agenda. So 
um, we'll get a little more downtime, which will feel really nice. And I'm pretty excited about that. <clears throat> I am also excited though, on Friday, I am off of work and I am taking my kids um, on our traditional annual um, student, what's it called? <laughs> I can't even think. Um, student matinee, there you go. Uh, to the Nutcracker. We're going to the morning performance and the afternoon performance, so we'll get to see the entire Nutcracker Ballet for a student's field trip price, and so that is pretty awesome, and <clears throat> we've gone every year for a homeschool field trip, and this year, or last year, we went, was the first time we went to both performances in the day, so we went to the morning performance, and then there's a, like an hour and a half break or something between the performances. And so we walked, and it happens downtown, so then we walked to a little place and had lunch, and then we went back to the Orpheum Theater and um, watched the afternoon performance. So the kids really enjoyed doing that, so we're going to do that this year too and go have lunch in between the two performances. So that'll be pretty exciting. It's always fun to go see that. Christmas spirit and you know you know my daughter and I actually went to go see the new Nutcracker movie um, that came out this last month and it was really good I definitely recommend going to see it we both very much enjoyed it and it was magical and whimsical and it was just it was a good a good well-made movie um, let's see what else anything else going on <clears throat> I don't even know but overall, it was a good day. It was a productive day for most things. And um, tomorrow, my goal is to get done my 13-year-old's fingerless mitts that I'm trying to work on that I started yesterday, but due to a migraine, I didn't get as far as I could have. Um, so my goal is to get done with both of those tomorrow. And I really want to work on my weekender sweater that I cast on a few days ago, but I haven't done more than the cast on in the first couple rows of the back hem. And so I wanna start working on that. It's the weekender sweater by Andrea Mallory. And I have a really pretty blue color, denim color, that um, I'm gonna make out of it. And it's my first sweater. I've never made a sweater before. So um, it's definitely gonna be trial and error for many things, but I'm hoping that it all will turn out well enough that I can wear it in the end. So I have people to get guidance on if I get stuck. But um, I love that sweater and I see it all over the place and I've wanted to make it since it came out. So it's, I've had this yarn for a really long time to work on it. So I'm hoping that um, I can work on that a little bit tomorrow too. But I hope I'm doing okay with my Vlogmas videos. I've never done it before. This is my first year doing it and I'm trying to stay caught up with um, a couple others. I, I usually, I always watch the Woolen Homesteads and um, I've watched A Homespun House also. So I'm trying to keep up with a couple other people's vlogs for Vlogmas, but um, yeah, it's just kind of a glimpse into my daily life and how we celebrate Christmas. And so hopefully I'm accomplishing that goal and I really appreciate you guys joining me on this little tour. And uh, yeah, I hope you will continue to watch. Good night, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow.